Welcome to the audio files of the Unholy Slaying Agency, where we cover intel on the vectors encountered by our agents in the field and the inner workings of our organization. Today's file is an introduction to lycanthropy, the Ravager's Plague. Werewolves are a remnant of unstable Nephilim DNA that survived the Great Deluge. For this lecture, we will discuss the bacterially induced lycanthrope. These vectors possess a highly contagious invasive DNA strain, producing a carrier bacterium that can be transferred via saliva or blood. The disease it passes slowly commandeers the victim's DNA, rewriting the code with variable results. In most instances, the victim is unaware of their plight, rationalizing their issues as extreme sleepwalking or nightmares. We believe the trigger is caused by ionized radiation of gamma rays that begin to overcharge due to spinning when hitting the moon's surface. Small saturations work their way through the Van Allen belt, peppering our planet each evening. Then rays are absorbed by a human being afflicted with lycanthropy, eventually causing the DNA to activate via energy alteration. The result being a transformation into a hulking hybrid beast of man and wolf, with primal reasoning skills, zero impulse control, and a ravenous appetite due to an overwhelming metabolic rate. This transformed state is classified as the lupino homid form. Around half of the time, the disease progresses, leaving the victim in a permanently altered state. These beings are referenced as ferals, and usually abandon their former lives, escaping to the deep wilderness, and becoming the dogmen cryptids found in sparse civilian reports. The cursed victim rampages in this form, over an unpredictable sequence of time, spreading the disease to any prey that managed to survive its wrath of super strength, blinding speed that guides claws sharp enough to pierce armor plates, and a bite force powerful enough to bend steel. The intelligence levels of this form are said to be slightly below human standards, but still above the average animal. Silver is the best weapon to utilize against these vectors. The bacteria that causes this disease is immune to all forms of antibiotics and treatments, save for silver, which forces an immediate reaction within the host. Upon contact with silver, the bacteria release a swift chain reaction that coagulates, then explodes within the bloodstream. We believe this is due to silver's antibacterial properties combined with its ability to absorb gamma radiation via a covalent bond, effectively neutralizing the bacteria. Electrocution is another great method for neutralizing these vectors, although it requires extreme voltage, completely frying the werewolf's nervous system. Incendiary weapons have been used to significant effect in some cases, but have not been found to be dependable on older forms of the vector whose regenerative capabilities have reached higher levels. Lycanthropy can be passed via sexual transmission, with or without the host's knowledge, and this can be spread to a fetus. If this is allowed to continue over generations, one family line will eventually become what is known as true werewolves, where the affliction becomes consciously controlled by the host. This can create an extremely dangerous and elusive vector. We have touched on the most common type of werewolf in this audio, but none of these factors are to be attributed to the other variants such as skinwalkers that are arcane-induced transformations via shamanistic magical methods, or the most dangerous and thankfully rare variant, the nigh-unstoppable greater werewolf. Only two known cases of greater werewolf have ever been discovered, being Ida Burgess aka Mother Mayhem who is currently in maximum security confinement due to voluntary surrender under assured conditions. And the other being the notorious Clinton Biggs the Grey Reaper, who was neutralized by former Marine Corps sniper Sarah Houston of Hitman Team. This lecture is merely scratching the surface for one of the agency's most dangerous foes. We will discuss these more vicious forms of lycanthropes and shifters in depth with future audio files. Stay focused out there, Agent. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this audio course, because it helps us out a lot. Or head to GuyQuintero.com for further guidance. Happy hunting out there.
This is Assistant Director Troy Hughes, signing out.